Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people, light for the world to see. Christ, be our light. Shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light. Shine in your church, gather today. Longing for peace, our world is troubled. Longing for hope, many despair. Your word alone has power to save us. Make us your living voice. Christ, be our light. Shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light. Shine in your church, gather today. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. My dear friends, we gather here on Monday of the seventh week in Ordinary Time. We gather again rejoicing that Christ is our light, and he has come to illumine the darkness. He has come to take it away and dispel it from our lives. As we gather in thankfulness for Jesus, we also gather knowing that we have sinned. We also ask for mercy as we cry out, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things we may carry out in both word and deed with that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. James. Beloved, who among you is wise and understanding? Let him show his works by a good life, in the humility that comes from wisdom. But if you have bitter jealousy and self-ambition in your hearts, do not boast and be false to the truth. Wisdom of this kind does not come from above, but is earthly, unspiritual, demonic. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder and every foul practice. But the wisdom from above is first of all pure, then peaceable, gentle, compliant, full of mercy and good fruits without inconsistency or insincerity. And the fruit of righteousness is shown in peace for those who cultivate peace. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. Let the words of my mouth and the thought of my heart find favor before you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Our Savior.
Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus came down from the mountain with Peter, James, and John, and approached the other disciples, they saw a large crowd around them and scribes arguing with them. Immediately on seeing him, the whole crowd was utterly amazed. They ran up to him and greeted him. He asked them, what are you arguing about with them? Someone from the crowd answered him, teacher, I have brought to you my son possessed by a mute spirit. Whenever it seizes him, it throws him down. He foams at the mouth, grinds his teeth, and becomes rigid. I asked your disciples to drive out, but they were unable to do so. He said to them in reply, O oh, faithless generation, how long will I be with you? How long will I endure you? Bring him to me. They brought the boy to him, and when he saw him, the spirit immediately threw the boy into convulsions, as he fell to the ground, he began to roll around and form foam at the mouth. Then he questioned the father, How long has this been happening to him? He replied, Since childhood. It has often thrown him into fire and into water to kill him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said to him, If you can, everything is, poss is possible to the one who has faith. Then the boy's father cried out, I do believe, help my unbelief. Jesus, on seeing the crowd rapidly gathered, rebuked the unclean spirit and said to him, Mute and deaf spirit, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. Shouting and throwing the boy into conversions, it came out. He became like a corpse, which caused many to say he is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand, raised him, and he stood up. When he entered the house, his disciples asked him in private, Why could we not drive out the spirit? He said to them, This kind can only come out through prayer. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, St. James is offering such wonderful advice for the community that he is writing for. But I also think he's offering that very same advice to us. And if we really contemplate St. James's words, we can really see what it means to be an authentic disciple of Jesus. St. James says, let him show his works by a good life in humility that comes with wisdom. In other words, he's telling us how to live and how when we do good works, that we do that with humility, not trying to make a show of it, not announcing it to the whole, whole world. Because if you have bitter jealousy and self-ambition in your hearts, do not boast and be false to the truth. Because when you have that jealousy of another, and even when we have these good intentions but we want everyone else to know about them, that's not really authentic wisdom. Because wisdom of this kind does not come from above, but it is earthly, unspiritual, and demonic. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder and every kind of foul practice. So once again, St. James is encouraging us how to live, how to live our lives in love, in selflessness, in kindness, in works of charity. But we shouldn't do that because we're jealous of someone else's good works. We shouldn't do that because we want the entire world to know it. Instead, this type of kindness comes from the heart and it comes 
from above. For when it comes from the earthly ways that we follow, it's unspiritual and even demonic. And so today, let us ask the Lord to give us pure intentions, to give us holy hearts, to give us charity, and that we give without counting the cost, and we do so for the very simple reason of love. Let us bring our prayers and petitions before our loving God, trusting in his compassion and in his mercy. For the entire body of Christ, may the Holy Spirit guide us in wisdom to follow God's commandments. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our public authorities, may they be graced with, heaven, with the, our Heavenly Father's wisdom and their de deliberation of policy, and that peaceful solutions to our world's conflicts will be possible. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray today for our nation, that we may be a people dedicated to human life. From the moment of conception to natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our small faith community, our virtual community. May God continue to draw us closer to him in love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick and suffering, for those who suffer with mental illness or addictions. May the Lord bless them with the help and support that they need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faithful departed, especially those who have no one else to pray for them, may God grant them eternal rest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for your needs, your intentions, that we bring to the Lord today in the very silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us together pray in active spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us take these prayers. Let us lift them into one, raising them to God our Father, praying as our Savior taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father of mercy and love, we believe in your goodness. Please look with favor upon these prayers and petitions which we offer you in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Excuse me, I got hiccups today. Friends, the Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Longing for food, many are hungry. Longing for water, many still thirst. Make us your bread broken for others. Share until all are fed. Christ be our light. Shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light, shine in your church, gather today.